We're having another very active fire season through the southern part of the country. And uh, we're going to have to probably deal with this uh, down here for another four to six weeks at least before hopefully we'll get some of the um, summer rains, the monsoonal flow will start to come up. And then as we look at the rest of the country, we expect to have a um, probably a little more active fire season than we did last year through the central part of the western states, starting in Colorado, Utah, Nevada, over into California, and then on up even into um, southern Oregon. So um, with uh, the warmest record, warmest winter on record from last year, you know, it's really set us up to have some very difficult um, conditions with... Um, the fuel moistures are once again um, approaching record uh, dryness, and we get the, um, the hot, dry winds. And when we get those combinations, we get a fire like we have with the Whitewater Baldy, that even though our folks went in there and tried to suppress that right from the start, but because of the fuel conditions, the weather they were faced with, and the difficulty of, difficulty of that terrain, you know, they made the right choice and had to be able to pull out and be able to get to some ground that they could safely work. We feel we have adequate uh, resources for the fires that uh, we're dealing with today. And as we look forward to the rest of this fire season, uh, the plans that we put into place will provide the adequate uh, aviation resources uh, to be able to deal with this fire season.